I've heard that Jerome has been on it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, constantly. Since he got the phone call about this, he's just been all about four to six. Did you get that on camera? He's scared. <laughs> scared. So today we're here at ESL Studios in Leicester and we're going to be playing the new Forza 6 game. Well, it's definitely something new for me. I love gaming. I'm not the, an expert at it and it's, uh, you know, traveling so much we don't get a chance to play. What Formula is trying to do is bring another level of entertainment to it. Connect with the younger fans, trying to make the sport evolve towards a new generation who are looking for something else. And I think that mixing the e-gaming with actually the reality, the, the, the race that's happening, I think it's a, it's a great concept. I think gaming and and, and Formula E have a great synergy. By doing these sort of things, we really do interact well with the general public in a way that no other form of motorsport does. I'll try to beat Sam. I think, uh, happily, I don't think we're going against uh, one of these six professional gamers, because I'm sure we will win. I've heard that Jerome has been on it 24 hours a day, seven days a week, constantly. Since he got the phone call about this, he's just been all about four to six. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? He's scared. He's scared. <laughs> going head to head with Jerome today, it should be a doddle. I mean, in real life, it's a doddle, so this should be this should be easy. Welcome back to the Formula E race off here with Forza 6 Motorsport and ESL Studios. And I'm joined again by Jerome D'Ambrosio and Sam Bird. And it's time for our exhibition race offs against some of our drivers from home. We've been selected only in the last hour or so to take part in this race. So, Jerome, how do you feel getting ready for this? Well, it's totally new, first time. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see what it uh, what it plays like. Sam, quietly confident? Oh, I don't know about that. It's going to be tough. But he's had some practice, this boy, and he looked quick on it. Take your seats, gents, here at Forza 6 Motorsports. And they're going to have this race against some of you from home. And we're going to have our casters to help us with this as well. So it's over to Rene and Sebastian. There we go. So uh, Jerome is on fourth place right now. And we got a Sam Bird on uh, he's, position number five, he's just uh, chasing he's him down. Sam, Samus is already <laughs> in the slipstream and gave him a little push there. Whoa! Oh, I think he's like, he's, he's like, this oh, time... Oh, Sam was involved in a crash. But luckily he made it out, so... He made uh, it, yeah. Maybe he was like, this is not a real car, so I can at least give him a push this time. <laughs> oh, he's racing yeah, um, yeah, yeah. the nose cam. He's really, really keeping up with those guys in the front. Yeah, I mean, we know those guys. Race Boy 77, uh, he knows about how to race. Oh, Believe yeah. me, he's uh, one of the first uh, communities, uh, like known people. <laughs> Sam is trying really hard. Sam, that's what we call uh, try hard in esports. Oh yeah. If you if you go, oh above. he's just <laughs> he's just showboating there. Jerome is up to second place. Oh yeah. Because someone crashed up in front. I think it's the the, the pace that both of them are showing is really really impressive. The race, the oh. Pro Series five. Oh, he went he wide. Second place. <laughs> With the guy up in front dribbling as well. <laughs> Depending on the championship. Oh, he's off. Oh. That's a chance for Jerome, come on, come on. Oh, get up to him, get up to him, get him in slip dream, come on. Draft it. It's, I mean, it's yeah. not NASCAR, but do it. So Jerome right now, he's, oh, he's back to second position. He's still racing on the left <laughs> side right now. We got, oh, one of the viewers. The neck and neck. I mean, that must be the dream, you know? Of racing course. in Forza against your hero and you're really battling it out. Yeah. That's awesome. I mean, Dragon Racing will be proud. 30 feet behind him. Definitely. Oh, yeah, he's still... Oh, he may take oh, oh. him now. Yeah, Last take corner. some tires with you, of course. On the left side right now, you need to close the gap. Oh, he's on, going on. for the gap. Is he? Uh, Is he? You need to defend that. Oh, no. He will make he's it. Not. Jerome, come on. Come on, do it. Do it. Impressive. Really impressive. And he kept his calm. And he did. And yeah. he did it second. Really, really impressive there. It's good fun, you know. It, I mean, you, you race and you speak to them at the same time and you have a bit of a laugh and everything. So it's... Um, I really enjoyed it. Actually, I feel like I want to be part of the other races coming up. These guys, at the end of the day, they're, they're fans of the sport, they're fans of Formula E, and it, it's nice to in interact with people. But all the fans coming your way now, because that was the deal, wasn't it? So you're going to collect all of the fan boost support. There it is. Thank it's got to happen for you now. Guys. So vote for me for fan boost next race. Hopefully I get my first one. But uh, that was the deal, right? So congratulations then to Maxu, the winner of our community races here at our Formula E race-off. How do you feel? 
It's a, a little bit of a surprise, to be honest, but uh, I build a strong team to, to beat the others. I'd like to thank ESL and everybody to, to bring this show. It's amazing, many passionate people around us. And yeah, the competition was well for me. Sometimes some contact with the others, but it's racing, like in real life, they could say the same. So yeah, it's great to, to win the, this kind of event and I, I'm looking forward to other events like that in the future. One is looking inside. One thirty. Radio check. Radio check. Peter, radio check.